what is going on youtube i am back at the fox river if you guys saw two videos ago or probably three videos ago by now depending on you know when i posted this i was fishing here a little bit ago i was trying to get some walleye or some smallmouth and it didn't quite work out so now i'm back and i'm at a dam the dam's straight down that way but i'm gonna fish um let me move my camera up straight down that way but i'm gonna fish this like slower moving water right here because there might be like you know a lone ranger musky or a small or just anything literally there is every species of fish in here so <coughs> i'm just gonna cast out my little storm search bait in this slow moving water alongside the shore right here just see if i can't entice something to hit after you know 10 15 casts and if there's nothing hanging out around here i'm not gonna stick around here too long i'm just gonna head straight to the dam I got about two hours to fish before um, I go to a Christmas party today, so I'm pretty excited. The water temperature has been warming up drastically, and the air temperature warming up drastically the last couple of days. I mean, it's been 45 degrees plus every day after a solid streak of like, basically I was ice fishing. So I mean, I don't really know what to expect today, but I'm expecting big things knows i mean the dam is obviously my best bet running water some deeper holes but this water is really nice and calm so i'm just you know you never know what would be snagging your lure up instantly right in front of you That's a whole purse right there. Hold on. I didn't really realize that that bag right there was a purse, and as much as you know, you guys might not understand, there could be like a wallet in there with some uh, moolah. Here, let's let some um, hook it. I don't really want to go in the water or get close to it, but. I just snagged the purse and now, and now it won't freaking come over here. Oh yeah, it will. It's a fucking Louis V purse. Oh my God, hold on. Dude. Oh my God. It's a freaking Louis Vuitton purse. Or it's a fake Louis Vuitton purse. Oh my God. Dude, but it's in like good condition. Dude, there's stuff in here. All right, guys. Let's hope there's nothing sketchy in here. There's just candles and crap in here. I'm really hoping I don't regret this. Oh my god, this is the nicest shit ever. I think it's legit Louis V but I'm not even joking, it's so thick. I'm taking this home and reconditioning this. That's insane. There's literally a ton of candles and sunglasses in here. I hope you guys can see this. Here, let me lean up. Ton of sandals, some sunglasses, just a bunch of girly, ugh, some bras probably shouldn't be touching but you know whatever probably shouldn't touch this stuff but I was thinking if there was some money in here I'd be the one who come up yeah there's just a crap ton of glasses and just shit in here nothing interesting sadly Ugh. 
Well, that's pretty cool. I mean, the purse is in good condition, so. Sadly, there wasn't anything interesting in there, but I mean. Shit. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Louis V purse in the river. I mean, I think it's legit. I mean, it has all the calling cards on it. It even has Louis Vuitton made in France. Oh my God, this is a legit Louis V bag. I'm taking this. I'm taking this. I can't leave this. This can be cleaned and reconditioned. Let's just carry this with us. I shouldn't put my hands in the water, but. Screw it. Let's screw these pants. Whatever. This is a legit Louis V bag. It literally has the Paris, made in Paris, France tag on it. This is insane. This is insane. I literally just found a Louis V bag. <laughs> okay, well on that note, let's head over to the dam. <laughs> 